Jason and Jamari. How y'all doing? I'm Jabari, aka Jabo, the other half of Jason and Jabari Gaming. I usually stream on Twitch, but right now we got the answers, the five best that I think, not Jason, that I think, the five best answers to the last question um, that Jason gave you guys. And that question is, if you could have one singular superpower, what would it be and why? Let's hop right on into it. We're going to start with number five. So number five is Curd Bros. Um, and he actually answered um, uh, two questions, the one that he missed and then this one. But we're just going to go with this one. So uh, if I could have one power, it would probably be time manipulation you can pretty much do anything if you can affect time keep up the awesome content kurt i appreciate it man we'll definitely do that um and bear with me because my phone wouldn't let me put it in order so uh number four is new bun you 94 uh and he said luck is the best superpower luck is definitely a good superpower. I don't know about the best, but it is the good superpower. It kind of reminds me of Gambit. Maybe wrong, but what? Right, but it, it reminds me of Gambit. Bro, what are you talking about, about man? Like superpower. All right. Uh, number three uh, is Mr. BD the be best. I almost said beast. Uh, Mr. BD the best, and he said, ever since I've seen the movie Jumper, my superpower would be teleportation. Yep. Yep, that is that's another good one. I like that one. Um, number two, uh, Mike Holman loves you. I love you too, bro. <laughs> healing, not healing factor like Wolverine or Deadpool, but actually or actual healing powers like the character Moose, and that is definitely a, a very good one because. Um, well, I mean that. I mean Deadpool and Wolverine, their healing power is cool, but Moose is, bro. Yeah, um, look them up if you don't know. <laughs> uh, and the number one uh, is if is uh, J Mania eighty two. If I had a superpower, I would pick super speed. Reason is to be able to help people, but not only that, you can travel the world for free and see it all. Uh, keep up the great work. I appreciate it, Jay. And that is the uh, number one uh, comment. Those are the top five comments that I think it was the best comment. So um, once again, uh, I appreciate y'all, man. Hit like, subscribe. Um, Jason, you're still slower than me. Stop the cap. All righty. What is up, guys? This is Jason from the Jason and Jabari Gaming. And hopefully you guys like Jabari's top five picks. For the question of the day which again we will be continuing moving forward so if you want to get featured in one of our videos comment on the question of the day which jabari will be asking the question of the day towards the end of this video so if you want to go directly to that skip towards the end of the video hear what he has to say and answer it and then you know we'll take some pics but let's get into this video so we will be discussing my 20th rank three champion. Um, recently, I finished the 9.1 on the first day. Uh, I did a live stream, it was about seven hours. I streamed it 100% in one run. So if you guys have not completed it or you're stuck on a path or you wanna see what champions I use, definitely go check that out. It's up on the channel right now. Um, but they did give enough catalyst, which shout out to Kabam for, um, to allow you to take up basically any champion that you wanted. Um, so I have a couple of options here of who I want to take to rank three. Um, I think this is me, uh, just kind of looking over some of my rank two champions. I can't take some class champions because I didn't have enough of the uh, 
tier six CC for that specific class. Um, but now I'm just filtering out um, the champions class base that I can take to rank three. So first up, we have Falcon. You guys know how I feel about Falcon. I really enjoy Falcon. I think he's a great, great champion. I mean, some of the older champions are still dominant in Battlegrounds, and that is what I'm focused on right now. <clears throat> I have recently started being more competitive, um, so I am going to try to up my game with, with my Battlegrounds deck. Uh, Falcon pretty much stays in my deck, um, and at R2, he does crazy things for different metas. Uh, he shuts down the ability actually by 100%. So all around great champion, fast champion, underrated champion, in my opinion, or just underappreciated. Uh, next up, we have Gore. Gore is pretty high sig. He's uh, at 120 for me. Uh, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Gore, but I have seen impressive things done with Gore. Um, he does create a lot of debuffs. And then if you put a lot of debuffs on your opponent, throw off that special three, it's going to do a ton of damage. So there's not a lot of champions that he can't place a debuff on. Maybe some of them don't work, but generally there's going to be something that works. Um, Black Cat. Uh, Black Cat is very, very good. Uh, I think most of the top players run Black Cat in their deck. Uh, I run her in my deck as well, but she is second to my Falcon. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it's the truth for me. Uh, everyone's got their uh, everyone's got their thing, but Black Cat does so many impressive fights. Um, she can handle so many problems. Um, she can even handle Korg if you know how to play it correctly. It'll be like thing if she can't apply that bleed and she has a sabotage up there, taking so much burst damage is crazy. Uh, next up is Null. Null is so so good in Battlegrounds, guys. Do not sleep on Null. He can handle things like uh, piggy traps on defense. He can handle killmongers. Um, he's very fast. Throw off the SP1, and then you can intercept uh, to get up to your SP2. And most of the time, that's GGs. Um, when he gets the corruption, they get inverted controls if they're on offense. After he throws off the special one, and on um, if you're using him on offense. Um, then they their power rate goes up way slower um so if he's on defense and you're facing him he throws a special one then you get inverted controls after the timer expires so he can be tricky so he's he's very good both ways definitely a dual threat um you have shang chi here um shang chi was my very first rank four six star champion i love shang chi a lot uh, his SP2 goes burr. Um, he can cleanse. I mean, he can handle a lot of different problems. He handles Photon actually really, really well because he gets those debuffs off of himself. Um, he doesn't really have anything for a pure light form, so you just have to wait that out. But honestly, um, Shang-Chi is a very fast Battlegrounds attacker, uh, which I'm considering an attacker. Um, but we'll see. Next up, we have Blade here, and Blade was my very first R5 um, five star. If you guys remember, uh, save for Blade days, Blade was hugely impactful in this game. Uh, I still love Blade. He was actually um, one of my rank threes, six stars as well, one of my early ones, earlier on ones, top 10. Uh, but right now, I'm not sure if I could use Blade as much as I probably would want to. I don't really put him in about my Battlegrounds deck, uh, even though he's really good. Uh, you can trap your opponent with him. I've seen it done, but I'm just not sure if that's something I'm interested in right now. Next up, we have Deathless King Groot. Um, he's a good champion. He's really, really solid. I love King Groot, the original, and I love Deathless King Groot. He's really good. I like him a lot. Um, but in Battlegrounds, he's pretty slow. In Battlegrounds, his ramp up time, uh, even with uh, ideal matchups for him, it takes him a little bit longer than what I would like, but he's a solid champion. He is a wall, though, on defense, but he can be taken down pretty quickly. Uh, next up, we have the Serpent, and now he's finally awakened. So, yeah, now he's a monster. 
Uh, he's, he's all types of problems. Uh, the thing is, if I take him to rank three, that means I have to start facing him a lot more, which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to. <laughs> uh, this guy's a true menace. Um, and then we have Beta Ray Bill here, which uh, I'm still not the, the biggest fan of Bill. I'm not a hater of Bill either. I, I think he's fine. Um, he just normally not exactly what I'm looking for in Battlegrounds. Uh, I haven't seen anything like super impressive, right? So I, I'm not real sure um, on Beta Ray Bill, um, but he is a good champion for what he does. But let's be honest here, guys, by the title of the thumbnail, you already know we got to go with the serpent. We have to. This guy's too broken to not go with him for defensive purposes. Offensively, you can like use them if they have great counters. Uh, if they throw down like an Iceman or something, he won't take any damage. So he's another Iceman counter technically. Um, he might be a little slower, uh, but he will get the fight down. And as long as you don't mess up, you'll have 100% health. So that's actually pretty dope. Um, he's won me a lot of matches <laughs> uh needless to say and um but the, i mean the good news is they're coming out with more and more ways to fight serpent i have quite a few ways that people were kind of shocked by that i use kindred and that i use man thing uh pretty commonly actually so yeah that's uh kind of what i do for serpent you don't finish with um really impressive scores but um, you, they have been winnable scores and that's kind of where we're at with Serpent right now. Um, we're trying to get winnable scores. So as long as you can do that effectively or just have a mirror match as far as on defense with Serpent and you come out on top with a winnable score, then that's pretty much a dub for me. Um, so yeah, man, um, very, very happy with uh, him as my 20th rank three. He's gonna put in a lot of work. I wanna work on his SIGs. But uh, back to Jabari for that uh, question of the day. Peace. Guys, I hope you liked that video. Hey man, Jason is always a beast in this game, man. I could never do it though. Um, but like I said before, like, subscribe. And if you really wanna support the channel, Become a member, man. It's like two, three bucks, man. It's all good. It's all good. I can help you out with that, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but we got the question of the day. Let's get right on into it. I've been wasting enough of you folks' time. Uh, so the question of the day is, if you could live in any video game for one week, which one would it be? And why? Uh, looking forward to see that all the answers um in the comments um but uh that's jason and jabari gaming man jason's your host i'm jabari aka jbo and we out of here